Thank you guys for listening to this episode. This episode has been sponsored by PetSmart. The PetSmart Lifestyle Collection is perfect for any dog parent who likes to take their dog anywhere and everywhere in style, of course. Big style. <laughs> Jen, we need your help. Tony and I have a few outings and we went to PetSmart.com, picked a couple of things from their new lifestyle collection. What do you think? Oh, I love that. That puffer is perfect for larger outings like road trips to your cabin. Or this. Oh, that color scheme is so perfect to mix and match with yours and Tony's style. And this. Oh, this is it. You two look so trendy and stylish. Ooh, it's all available in store and online at PetSmart.com. <laughs> Jen, thanks for your help. We're just going to use our tote and go on our way. Oh, but wait, don't forget your Top Pop Pet Socks. So, Ask me where the beach is, Oh, Jen. my God. Oh, my God. I, Ask me I where refuse. The beach is. I refuse. It's that way. <laughs> There's the laugh. There's the laugh. There's the laugh that I love so much. And by the way, but this, I was like, These is, are good people. this is technically the Deloise. Okay, say do the Deloise. Do the Deloise. Yes. Yeah. Which, uh, for people who can't see me, I'm smiling big and looking adorable. Didn't your dad have like ranch dressing or something? On his face at all times because he no. loved eating. <laughs> no, didn't he, didn't he do like, like have a, like a, like, or is that Paul Newman? I think it was Paul Newman. Paul Newman had ranch dressing. Because I just had spices and an oil that's what it and was. cookbooks. Because I know I go to the grocery store sometimes and I'm like, there's Deloitte. There's, mm -hmm. there's a space. I miss my dad. I know. And he's been gone uh, 13 years, but the wonderful thing is, yeah. per Wizards, yeah. I directed an episode and I was able to show it to him that I directed this episode. Oh, oh, and really? my, I felt good because my dad was proud of me. Oh. You know, I mean, he was proud that's of me. That's all anyway. we ever want. There was a moment where someone said, uh, oh my God, you're David Deloise and the thing. And then uh, my dad was there and they're like, you're his dad? Oh. Rather than, you know, yeah, yeah, Don yeah. Deloise, you're his son? I love that. Yeah. Oh my God, when did the show start? To, wait, it was 15 years ago, but not really. It was 16 years ago. It was 16 ago. years ago because of the pilot. Because we were shot the whole first season before it aired, right? So, I mean, at least, at least yeah. whatever that took, seven months or something. Yeah. Because we would do blocks of four, right? We would do four episodes. And then we'd take, take a week off and then come back. And the reason why we did so many episodes so quick and our hiatus wasn't long is because you guys get old. You know, the, uh, you guys got old. Yes, I look the yes. same. I look. You're like I look the same at the time. Although um, I'm gonna just tell you this real quick, and then I want to ask you a question. Okay. Between the third season and the fourth season, mm. um, the family got lost in the desert, right? Yes. And and that's what happened. And I knew we were coming up on the fourth season, so I wanted to get in shape and look good. I, I remember lost this. 35 pounds. Yeah, I remember. And like people did like a whole thing on yeah, you. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, like, oh, thank you. Thank you. And then the fourth season started only a few days later yeah. from, you know, so we came out of the desert and I was wearing the same clothes that were Which, really baggy on yeah. me. And I was like, oh, wow, I, it was a long walk. I feel like yeah. I lost 30 pounds. They well, and it Because the, didn't, didn't it irritate? I, I, I kind of remember you being like, all right, can we cool it with like the fat jokes? Oh, my God, yes. I yeah. was like, how many times? Fat jokes. Because you weren't fat. Well, I was a little bigger than I wanted you, to be. You, so, sure. But, but I, I did ask that. I did say. Yeah, because it was like... I, it was a cheap shot. I was yeah. like, we can do better. Yeah, 100%. we can do better. But so, yeah, what in, was it? in the in the beginning? You were fourteen years old. Yes. Okay. How did you get to know comic timing to be funny? Did was there something that influenced you? Where did that come from? Because you were so fucking funny back then. You're I so love so that I can say fuck yeah. right now. <laughs> I know because you were you were like put in the doghouse. <laughs> Right Before in the beginning, if I would make a mistake, I would say, oh, shit. Or, you know, yeah. And they were like, uh, David, you And then season swear. two, all of us were like, fucking ass exactly. balls and then I was or like, whatever. That's not fair. But yeah, what, totally. What, what do you think influenced you or where did you go with, how did you get this, this comic timing that's impeccable? I, ever since I was little, I remember, because I was a really shy kid. I was a super, super shy kid, and I always made people laugh. But then I would get, get like, clam up and go hide because I thought they were laughing at me. So I, I, there was always that instinct there, but I, I just never really understood it. And, and I l always loved like Saturday Night Live. I always loved like Gilda Radner was a big one that I really loved. Amazing, funny, she, so she, funny. Uh, Hilarious, Genius. oh my God, the, the Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana. Mm -hmm. And when she did like the, the thing where she like ended up like, I think she broke like ribs and, and things where she's like the little girl slamming yeah, herself. Yeah, yeah. Her. 
uh, at the sleepover or, or something. But like, it, it's, I loved Gilda Radner. I loved like there were so many people from SNL that I really remember wait loving. A minute, wait a minute, you're 14 and you're watching Saturday Night Live. How did that happen? I think I found like a DVD at Target or something. You know those like like the but best, you, the greatest hits or something. Did you have to sneak it or did you? No, 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 no. Because I, I, my mom. My, God bless her. My mom was so supportive. The best, the sweetest. She's I love the your best. Mom. She's the best, man. Because she knew it came from a place of like uh, of creativity. Mm. She knew it came from a place of like it wasn't that I was trying to watch this raunchy thing. She it was it was she knew I, I I loved the comedy of it. She knew I loved like the art of it, and that's what I really loved. And I think also too like I had auditioned to play like young Gilda Radner in some like really? Texas yeah in some like Texas production of something. Um, for like the I think like the Pancreatic Cancer Foundation some like very small local like non-union thing like way back in the day so ever since then I had like been fascinated by her um, so that she was a huge influence for me and then also like watch like I said watching people like you with just physical comedy I was always enamored but intimidated by physical comedy well you do it really well and Thank I you. remember now you being on the set working out your bits Mm-hmm. I remember sometimes I'd be like, oh, there's Jen over on the set. And you'd the be first season like, it scared the out. crap out of yeah, me. Yeah, but look, listen, that's how you do it. You yeah. work on it. Like if you got a math test, you do your homework. Yeah. You were you were working it out. What, what were some of your, because I know like you, I mean, you grew up around comedy and you were yeah, like. Gilda Radner came to my parents' you're house. You're well, She was married to Gene Wilder, who was a very oh, good my God. friend. And I remember I was young, yeah. so I wanted to make them laugh. Yeah. And I came up to them one time. I was very young. And I was like, do you want to hear a bazooka? <laughs> and then I <laughs> farted and I she it. thought it was the best. I love it. Oh, my God. That's she the was best really story. Um, one of the big things that I remember, you know, because she um, passed away from cancer. Yeah. But the last time I saw her, she had these shoes and one side of the shoe had a, a dog's butt and the other side had, the, you know, like when you put the shoes together, it yeah. was a, a yeah, full yeah. dog. She was uh, amazingly sweet. Um, and now that you say it, uh, there is a lot of Gilda in you in the oh comedy God. from the show. Thank which you. Is, which I mean, is amazing. You know. If there's any ounce of her in anything I do, I'll take it. I had that same thing when I was younger, that yeah. the, the comedy was to kind of make it uh, fun for everybody. If I felt uncomfortable as a... Um, you know, as a kid, mm-hmm. I would make jokes. Yeah. I would, I would kind of like go, hey, this is funny. Look at that, you know. Um, well, it's a defense mechanism yeah. sometimes. But but I grew up with uh, Burt Reynolds, uh, Dick Van Dyke, Carl Reiner, Norman Lear, yeah. you know, Mel Brooks and Anne yeah. Bancroft, my godparents. Yeah. So there was a lot of comedy surrounding me. Mel yeah. would come over to the house and he wouldn't leave until he felt like he said the funniest thing of the night. It was a competition. You know, the sure. the comic guys back in the day, they, they made sure that the other comics knew that they were on point and that they were really I've, funny. I've know? dated a few stand-ups since the show. Like, they're they're very egotistical like there's an ego involved yeah i mean i i I, I love you i wouldn't say that mel brooks is like a stand-up comic no i'm just saying i'm just i'm saying the comedy world yes the comedy world and this is how there's an ego involved right yeah 100 percent. yeah uh this is how a comedian laughs you know you say a joke and they go funny yeah it's all technical it's all technical it's fascinating to watch like i said i think that's why i probably dated them just because i was fascinated by the process (laughs) it's not so much them as a person um but who was your as 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 jerry my my dad my dad did a movie with burt reynolds called the end and Mm -hmm. if you haven't seen it everybody watch it it's really funny i don't know if i've seen that movie it's it's great burt reynolds it's a it's a dark comedy burt reynolds directed it and sally field is in it my dad and he is told he has only a few months to live so he tries to kill himself and then he's put in i'm really glad that this was the was the influence for a disney channel show you're gonna have to watch this so my uh um bert's in the insane asylum and then my dad Mm -hmm. who's a patient befriends him and says, I'm, I'm your friend. I'll help you. I'll help you kill yourself. And then fails miserably, constantly. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. My Hold wand on. is ringing. Hello? Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you? Yes. You want to do the podcast with us? No oh, problem. Yeah. All right. We'll put you on the monitor. Okay? Just hold on one second. So... We have a guest today. What? That's what? It's so what? very exciting. It's so magical. Oh, I, get out. Get out right now. There's the door. <laughs> okay, go um, But first, before, what, what is on your sleeve? Um, Explain this to me, sir. I am wearing a Jerry Russo outfit. Oh, I this love that. I love, that you're, I love yes. that you're cataloging mm-hmm. it right now. And it's, you can see right here that when you're, <laughs> for people who don't know, when oh, you're here we wearing go. clothes. We're pulling it out, Louise. On the television shows. 
they, um, <laughs> oh my God. Hi. Selena. Yeah, that's Look, fair. I'm wearing he's, a Jerry he's Russo doing, shirt. He's doing a bit. And, oh, and you're doing a bit. From he's episode doing a bit. 208. Do you remember that episode specifically? No, I'm kidding. Uh, God, no. <laughs> hey, it's so good to see your face. Hi, I'm sorry. I just had like a three-hour therapy session, so I'm feeling all the feels right now. That's Are good. You, Get okay. it out. That is important. You're feeling. You're feeling good. Yeah, I really am. I'm. I'm. It was good sessions. You know, it was good okay. things. I miss you guys so much. We miss, we miss you. you. Thank you for coming on. We were just talking about, you know, the, we were talking about the like the audition process yes. and like just kind of like walking down memory lane. Do you remember? Did you audition for Wizards or did you? Was it a direct offer? Oh yes, I did. Okay, I definitely did, and it was, it was really fun though. I yeah. I actually feel most comfortable with this character more than I've felt with anything else. Yeah. Um. And it was it was really great. I just remember testing and I felt really good about it. Am and I on crack that we read together? Because I remember that. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> I might, right? Okay, because I, I remember, I remember, because I auditioned for Alex. I actually like flew out from Texas. Did you know that? Yeah, so I flew out from Texas because they originally, we were talking about this last episode. We, uh, or one of the episodes, we were talking about this, about how, because they had told, like, told me, like, come do the reoccurring character. And my, I was broke as hell at the time. So I was like, I can't afford to do that. So they called me out for Alex and I flew out for that. And then they handed me Harper last minute. Oh, And dear. I have this, yeah. So I had this like, so it was like a last minute thing at the 20, the 21st floor on the Disney <clears throat> building. So do you remember reading together or no? That was, that was not I, something that. I swear. I mean, I've definitely, I've, I've been in psychosis. So maybe I've forgotten. So I, um, I don't know. Memory, don't memory know. is a weird thing. Maybe, maybe I made that up. I don't know. But now wait a minute. You did, didn't you do two pilots or, 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 or not, mm -hmm. not, I'm not talking about the amazing O'Malley's. Do you no, remember that? It was, it was the sweet life of uh, spinoff. Ah, so you had done that and Wizards, and you were waiting mm -hmm. to see which one went. Uh, yes, I I did a few guest appearances on Sweet Life and then Hannah Montana, um, and they were really supportive and and wanting to find something. I would have to say that that was all Judy Taylor, and in my eyes, I felt like she saw something in me um, yeah. at 11 and it came into fruition when I, you know, was um, obviously on this show, which I could not be more thankful that I ended up being a part of this with you guys. Yeah, of course. And, you know, we were talking because I, I don't know if you know this, but I auditioned. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, because there was a different guy who was the dad on the <laughs> <Yeah>. Amazing <laughs> O'Malley. OK, duh. But um I decided not to do this show on purpose because I, I you know, I, I wanted that negotiations didn't go the way that I wanted. And then when, you know, it turned into, you know, them offering me a season of yeah. the, the show, I couldn't turn that down, you know, and I'm glad right. I didn't. Which I was telling him he didn't know the whole Disney thing where it was like, basically like you knew the show was going to go for three or four years. And I he's like, no I idea. thought it was going to go one. Did and you know like, that? Wait, wait a minute. Did you know that? that I that, thought that was like a known thing. That, that, that It wasn't I, like we're doing a pilot. It's like if they picked up the show, it was going to go for at least the season or three seasons. Yeah, no, I remember them saying multiple seasons. Wow, well, yeah. I feel very silly. Okay, yeah. so I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, it wasn't your fault. <laughs> no. Okay, what do you remember? What do you, like, what are some of the things you remember about the show? Like, what are some of the things that you, like... Yeah, just walk, How about walk. this? What's, what was your favorite memory? Uh, wait, do you remember which episode we shot first? That was the, um, wasn't it the, the, I was wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> remember the outfit, I love it. Isn't it the weird, like the shit you remember? Well, I know, I, I, just, I know it was, it was us in like a store, me and, and. No, that and, was the first, the, the crazy minute, t 10 minute sale was the first one that aired, but we shot the magic carpet episode first. And, Did we? Yeah, and yeah. do you remember we were on the carpet? It was moving, and we both leaned back, and we fell. Yeah. And yeah. I, 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 I had all these thoughts as we were falling. Oh no, we're falling. Oh no, she's gonna get hurt. Oh no, she's the lead of the show. We can't get her hurt because there was uh, uh, what's his name with the 
I'll tell that in a second. But I, I, I don't know if you remember, but I threw my body underneath you so that you wouldn't get injured. I sacrificed Aww. myself. Oh my God. For you and the show. What, what a martyr. But what's his name from, uh, it was a Cody in the house? Cause he had hurt his head or something. Oh, Corey. The, Corey in the house. Oh, I totally forgot about that where he like, so, I didn't he concerned. like jump off like a boat? He didn't jump off a boat. He, he, I'm getting all the shows confused. Or something. But back to what Jen was saying. What, what was something that you remembered from the beginning that you that Yeah, Yeah, because we were just talking about how special that first season was. Because it was ours. It wasn't yeah. anybody else's yet. So what's I like... Mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't we have to ask people to come see the show? Yeah. We, we, were, we were not aired until we were done with the entire first season. Which I always thought was such a great thing you know when i remember everyone giving a shit because oh we were the harry potter spinoff and how dare we like i remember do you remember that i remember everyone being pissed that like oh yeah i mean i remember certain people weren't allowed to watch us because it was wizardry oh literally right. my like sweet southern baptist church told me that i had to quit the show <laughs> because it was witchcraft and i was like so i won't be doing that thank you though it's very <laughs> I, I have a question what did you feel when you did the Amazing O'Malley's? Uh, you and David were twins. There was a magic shop, not a sub shop. And then when you came into, uh, you know, the actual show, wh what was your feeling of how it was different? I can't imagine it any other way. I remember being nervous, but as as long as David was there, I was like, okay, I'm good. I just was like, for yeah, the first, first beginning, I, I was like, well, I just don't want a new family. And like, I felt like I bonded with everyone. Yeah. I mean, little did I know that I ended up with everyone I needed to be in my life. It was, it just, I think I felt safe. And that's a really hard thing for me to feel. And I know that you guys love me for me. There's not really you guys genuinely loved me and i that's all i could have asked for the unconditional trust and bond we had i miss so much i'm starting to, i'm not kidding I that know, made me... <laughs> tissue please but that was but that was what was so special about <laughs> our sweet. cast is the fact that like that was that was an experience and a special time i think in all of our lives that we'll all share and we'll all like I, we we don't have that with anyone else. It was you know the what beginning. I mean? And that's I, I have to say with the the same. And I'm so lucky and grateful that I get to be a part of all these other projects. But I'm I've I tell people all the time I've never had that feeling that I've had with the whole Wizards crew. You know, not yeah. just you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you guys. It was a special group people. of people. To know that. To know that then is what made it so special. And I'm not throwing Jake under the bus, but I've talked to him recently and he's like, I had no idea how yeah. special it was now that he's worked in different, you know, machinations. Yeah. You know, we really were a family, you know, yeah. even though yeah. uh, um, we aren't blood related, I feel very close to you guys. You know, I feel yeah. we, we, we experienced something that uh, it's very rare in this business that you get to bond with people like that. This episode is brought to you by PayPal Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. It's like my online savings sidekick because it's finding me promo codes for things I'm already buying on websites I'm already shopping on. Totally. I just saved 18% off my next book. I cannot wait to read it. Wow. And you can add Honey to your browser for free by going to joinhoney.com slash wizards and start saving some sweet, sweet cash. Now that's magic. No, oh, I'd say. Yeah. And I think, I think, I mean, I'd be lying if I said that at the time there wasn't a part of me that was like, oh, I'm ready to move on. Cause like, cause you're a teenager and you're an idiot and you don't know better. But it's like having the space and the time from it, I think you can really look at it and yeah. be like, you know, you, you can appreciate it for what it is. Cause we, David and I like rewatched some of the episodes and we were just talking about how when you have some distance from it, you can actually like, it doesn't feel like you. And then some things are so, like that memory just comes right back and you can appreciate it so much more. I, I can't begin to tell you guys without making it such a little mm, cry session. I just, I, I, I felt, I felt like I was the happiest I'd been my whole life. And that's, I don't want that to be a sad thought because I'm really grateful and happy, but it was definitely the happiest times for me. And I recognize that obviously it's because I have this different attention on me that I just didn't have then. And that yeah. was a really pure time. 
And you I can pick your nose in public, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, when you mooned the paparazzi. Do you remember doing that? Oh, um, when we what? were in a baseball game or something? Yes. <laughs> you pulled his pants <laughs> That's so down. grown up of me. What is, it doesn't surprise <laughs> I just me at all. I died laughing. Oh, oh my God. so great. I don't think they printed that though i remember okay so our first uh, season we were at a different stage and yeah, our, stage four. Our, yeah, and, yeah and we had to walk outside to go to our dressing rooms and i remember there was people like at the gate toward the end oh. of what i'm seeing and they were taking pictures and i was like oh wow they're taking pictures of us this is interesting because i had not i mean i had worked a lot but i hadn't been paparazzi you know what mm -hmm. i mean that hadn't happened uh, uh, to me yet so that that was a big indication for me that the show was going to be popular and Definitely. the other thing was I was at the Grove going down the escalator one time and some kids behind me recognized my voice and that's how they I was like what when was the first time you were recognized from the show do you remember that yeah actually um I I was I think maybe seven, six no Oh God, I don't remember how old I was, but it was this one girl and uh, she was really sweet and she was um, Mexican like me. And she just said that she had her dream had always that she, her dream was that she always wished that somebody like her was on, you know, TV. Oh. And she just it was such a sweet compliment. And she loved the show. And I remember I was like, my people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was such a special thing about the show, too, because I didn't realize just right out of the gate, even in the first episode, like, or not the first, the first season, well, you talk so much about, like, how, like, it was a mixed race family, yeah. and, like, it was such a, it was such a cool thing, because I don't, had Disney done that before? I don't think the so. The only time they did is That's So Raven, but ever since. Oh, that's true. That was the, but that was the only one at the time, so. Yeah. It was, you know, now you can see that they've expanded, and they're doing all kinds of things, and. I, I love that it's evolved, the channel. Um, but I, I do feel like we were like the second or third. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember that being – I mean, I learned a lot because like I, I wasn't around, you know, a lot of Hispanic cultures. And so like the Quinceanera episode, it's I learned favorite. all about that. For, That's like, my favorite episode that we got to dance and we were yeah. – you taught me we did like the box dance and everything. And I, I felt like that was – you know, sitcom is set up, set up joke, set up, set up joke, you know, but I felt like that episode, we got to really, you know, have a, a, another, a, a wonderful father daughter bonding thing, which was so good. You guys had a lot of great moments. Like that. Okay. So you can't pick that episode. What's your either favorite episode or just other than Quintanilla? Do you remember any titles <laughs> yes, of the episodes? What? I do. <laughs> and this one's, oh, I don't know why I tend to go to the really emotional stuff. It's just who I am. And I just got out of therapy. That's why. Hello. Um, we'll, just take, we'll extend I remember, therapy. I remember I was actually going through a breakup. Um, or, I mean, it was 18 million breakups. But I remember I had to shoot this scene where I was crying over Mason. And I was just, I, I allowed myself to just feel sad and I thought it was so beautiful to have Maria there and just the way I felt, you know, close to her meant so much to me. And then I can't forget the damn marker dress that you wore. I don't know why, but you had a thousand <laughs> pins and markers on mm -hmm. you. And I remember being in the sub shop um, all the time. Like, I remember scenes when there was aliens when you found out your character found out yeah. um that we were magic and then zeke finding out that was such a funny episode oh my gosh i know like that the the amount of times like rewatching it i just remember how much time we spent at the top of the stairs that spiral staircase like waiting to come down yeah. right in the rewatch i remember <laughs> and then to go downstairs you had to like kind of duck yeah totally I, totally I was telling my wife i was like i totally forgot you have to wait up there like if you're in the Forever. middle of the scene it's the worst. and then and then going down the stairs you had to kind of like duck you know or like that is so funny or like a trebacca part yeah. like go ahead I also remember our, our prayers. And here's the funny part. Yeah, we were talking about that last episode. We were all believing in God. But I really enjoyed that. It was more just like a huddle, I guess we should say. Yeah. But it was really, it was really special. And oh, I, I loved that part. Did you start that? Because we were talking that? about it. Like yeah. that we did that and I it was wonderful. Definitely... You did. Yeah, I think it was okay. me and, and David. 
Okay. Yeah. Cause we were trying to figure out who started that. I remember that. And I remember you're like, you would write like whoever you were dating at the time, you would write like <laughs> S plus whatever initial on the back of that. Oh, the, the set? Do you remember that? Yeah, of the set, of that swing set that would come out for the, the. I, I just, what? I remember that. Of course so. I do. Yeah, like I just remember Wait, that what so did you what, what would you write? You would write oh like gosh, a, 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 a boy's name and then cross it out and write the next boy's yes. name? <laughs> I love, you know, honestly, you know what? Yes. Um, and people, I remember I had it about Cole and Dylan Sprouse at one time. I, I just, I was a hopeless romantic, you know? Which is good. We yeah. all we all need that in in our lives. Yeah, I rem- but I remember the prayer, and then I remember like all of the sharpie, and then like the crossed out sharpie, and then like moved on to the next person. But I did love that we yeah. did that. We, yeah. we we not only bonded over that, but we also got to give thanks, which I think we all need to do at all times. You know, show. yeah, yeah. It was a really great way. To do you have any questions show. for us, and Selena? What I also loved about the show is that. Nobody had any space for ego on the show. Yeah. And I really appreciated that because I felt that I was equally treated and I feel that that was so rare because, yeah. and I hate to say that because that sounds weird, but I don't, no. I can't relate to that feeling. I just only know people to be beside me, not anywhere else yeah. just right it was there. a true I ensemble fathom right that's what i'm saying yeah. our show would not be our show if you weren't there if you weren't there if david yeah. wasn't there it yeah. just simply wouldn't be the same and that's beautiful it is i remember something and I, i've never told you this but you, you know we would shoot like i think we do it went to a tuesday shooting time one time we would rehearse oh, yeah. wednesday oh, thursday friday the Monday, tuesday and then you sometimes would go you know, Friday night, you would get on a plane and go perform in Texas and then perform yeah. over there and perform back. And I was walking you out one time and you're like, ah, oh, why did I want to do singing too? <laughs> oh, that's so You, you don't remember. Me now. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you've done pretty well. You've done pretty well. <laughs> Uh, Thanks. <laughs> there were there were lots of schoolroom naps too from those long weekends. Oh, definitely. Do you remember how we got every teacher to quit? Yeah, yeah. I like Daphne was the one you and I you and I tortured that woman. I know. Like we tortured her. So, you remember? Like I used to like draw on like her because she. I mean, it was ridiculous because she would bring in like those like things that were like for like grade school children and we were in high school. So it was like for like oh, every yeah. holiday. And then she would like make me like write Bible verses when I cursed, which I cursed like a sailor at that point. So that just made me want to do it more. You guys were very mature. We, yeah, we were oh, very mature. I'm going to say one more thing and then we're going to do our crystal ball segment, by the way. <laughs> I, um, like, I like that you call it a segment. <laughs> yeah, but when, when I asked you how you had such impeccable timing. You guys were so, you know, clever and funny so young and you said to me don't tell anybody but i've watched every episode of friends and you i guess you weren't allowed to watch friends or something but you oh, i <laughs> good no, no i was just gonna say you were very inf- influenced by them right a thousand percent i really i and now i've had the opportunity to meet um some of them and yeah. i freak out to this day but I... why at 14 did you say don't say anything I think it was because I wasn't really, actually, I do know why. Um, it triggered certain people. Um, um, okay. And I just had to be annoyingly shy about it. All right, Got that's it. fair. Okay, we haven't done this yet. It's our first time. Yeah. So the you're, crystal you're ball segment. Guest. By the way, this is a uh, a oh wizard's gosh. wand. Hey, Merchandise. That's right. Yes, right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is you that go was in there you get out one. here get yeah one. they're just get random question. questions that Della some are about the show with. some are about life okay great oh this, this oh, one I love this. yeah this one is very deep um in honor of the waverly substation what is your sandwich of choice hold yeah on. we hold on. Has has a menu that i stole from the set oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you no. said, so you said pickles yeah, <laughs> Any, you know I didn't eat, I ever know. eat sandwiches. Neither did my character. You grossed just, me out so much when you would just pickles, yeah. no, right? not no. It wasn't that no. you would drink pickle juice, and it grossed me out yeah. so okay. much. I literally would look at you, and I'd just be like, Ugh. like I, I'm sorry, I love you, oh, but like I it was so it. gross. Here, all right, you pick okay, one. Okay, next question. Oh my god, I can't, <laughs> I can't with you in this. I one. can't get this open. Here. Open says me. <laughs> all right, listen, <laughs> you're a mess. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, oh, interesting. I had to pre-read it. By the way, did you know? You know I'm dyslexic, right? So oh, I had to yeah. pre-read everything before we read it. So what has been your biggest mistake so far? And you can't say a boy's name. Okay, Jesus. I know some wow. of these are like really light. We got you with the sandwich question and now we're coming in hot. Yeah. Uh, it's you tough. know what? Probably not staying in touch with you guys. Oh, shit. You're going to make me cry. Come on. No, honestly. I, I, I appreciate you saying that because I know you well, and I. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And I know I, I wasn't really. I think I slowly became. I kind of shamed like I felt ashamed of the the decisions that I made and I didn't want you guys to see me in the state that I was in because a you would have told me the truth which terrifies me and b I I didn't want to let you down that's fair well that's really sweet and um Thank you for saying that. Well, we obviously I miss you, yeah. and and uh, I'm happy you're doing well now. Yeah. Um. Because I mean that I is you. that is I I appreciate you saying that too. Because I, <laughs> I I to be perfectly blunt, like you know there has been times where I'm like, did she like, did we stop being friends? Because I didn't tell her what she wanted to hear. You know what I mean? And and that yeah. kind of thing. So I, I appreciate That's you being there's being of that course honest, they're all you know? valid, and I appreciate you guys. You know, I mean dearly and i love you so much but that's also that i've never loved anybody else but you know and and, but the beautiful thing is like we love you too we love you too and and the beautiful thing is like you know we get older we learn and and we can be open and honest and blunt and and you know and that's the beautiful thing about it is like we don't have to stay in that place right that's what i've learned from my therapy sessions so (laughs) (laughs) okay one more Three's a charm. Why do we have to do one more? Oh, okay. We're well, going to do wanted... all of them. Here, no, Jack, we're not going to do you. all of them. There's so well, many in here. All right. We'll do, okay, I'll do one more and then you do okay, one more and okay. then we'll call it. This is so fun. Okay. Isn't this fun? I know. It is fun. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay. So what piece of clothes, why am I getting all the like bullshit questions? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what the, Listen, like, I'm, already I'm picking another one. I, I, don't like, I, I, okay, I don't like, I don't like I don't like that one. That one's Jen's nonsense. Jen's changing I'm changing. I'm changing. Okay. Oh, what is a storyline you'd like to have explored with your character? Ah. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, we did do 109 episodes. <laughs> a lot of storylines. I was going to say. We went a lot you know of what I want to see? I want to see the older version of everyone. Yeah. There, there was too. one. I mean, we could do it again, Selena. We could do a, another. <laughs> But there was an episode where you were like a, there was a woman who, who was a painter or something. There was an episode where there was a. Oh, the future Harper yeah. episode, that one, right? Where you. Oh, were like, that's right. Yeah. Well, really no, one in the future. I'm talking about us though. Have you heard about lab grown diamonds? Well, say hello to Lightbox because they create their own lab grown diamonds in their lab in Oregon with world leading technology to create these amazing stones. I mean, they truly shine with always transparent pricing at $800 a carat, which is amazing for this quality. I love Lightbox and their stones truly sparkle. And I know it's a name I can trust. So if you want to get a special gift for a special someone or yourself, oh. then go to lightboxjewelry.com, use code wizards and get 10% off. Yeah, 10%? That's right. It's amazing. That is right? a, it's magical. There was a thing on, on the internets where you and David were having dinner and you talked about where it would be and, and he had you um, as a spinster or something, right? Yeah. such an outdated term. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry. It was, it was so silly because I think Jake got really upset and yeah. it was a joke. It was definitely oh, a joke. Um, yeah. There was there wasn't any, like we weren't writing anything or it was like we had meetings. So it was actually just, you know, us being silly. And don't get me wrong, I think about it all the time. Because, um, I mean, why wouldn't I? Um, but, yeah. Well, at some I point, think- maybe we'll do something. That would be Yeah, really I, I always fun. tell people, because obviously, like, we all get asked but that question. But this is like a reunion now. We get to reminisce, yeah. you know, oh, it's so I'm fun. I'm not there. I'm in New York. Okay, well, when you're back be, here, we're going to do, here. we're going to, we have 109 episodes <laughs> to go through. So oh, when God. you're back in L.A., you let us know, and then you can come in. I will. You guys, it's, <laughs> my show shoots here, and I really love it, but I'm so bummed I'm not going to be there. Well, you get to enjoy New York, and then when you're back here, you know. You're here now. You're here with us right now. 
So that is good. How's that going? Are you enjoying yourself and, and having uh, fun? Yes. <laughs> it's so awesome working with Steve and Marty. Um, they're just, I mean, they're brilliant. They're lovely. They're smart. They are always on time, kind. <laughs> is that a big you deal? Know, Have yes. you worked with a lot of people that are not on time? I am easily, if I'm not 10 minutes early, I freak out. Like on the way here, oh, I God was bless sweating. You. Like I was sweating because I was like, oh my God, I didn't mean to, blah, blah, blah. But it was therapy. But anyway, it was, yeah, they're just lovely. I have the best time and they're constantly doing bits. It's hysterical. I'm like, now I know all their bits. So I'm kind of like, <laughs> oh, here's the punchline. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> like my dad. I use his same jokes all the time. Hold on one second. Hello? Oh my God. Yeah, no, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you called me on the I wrong one. I didn't realize I didn't he was telling me that he did the the I'm gonna call I'm just gonna call it the banana phone bit, but where you would make everything a phone. I, I answer, I answer everything. You know? oh, yeah. I so you did that all through the show. Do you remember that? I didn't remember of that. Of course I do. And I also remember uh, Jeff Garland doing beep boop. Yeah, beep boop. Yeah, boop, yeah, boop, yeah. Boop, boop, which I think he stole from me because in the first <gasps> episode, I uh, uh I go like this to you. Beep boop, and you're like, "What are you doing?" And I said, "I'm fast forwarding to the part where you know you, you tell me something, <laughs> you know." We had some good one-liners, you guys. We really I was did. I'm wa- rewatching the show. My wife's in the kitchen, and I'm laughing at myself. And she's like, <laughs> "Oh my god, what are you doing?" <laughs> I have to I'm say, not, I am not going to lie. I was like, there was a part of me that was like, oh, God, I don't want to rewatch the show. But I've actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I, oh, gosh, well, I have a little sister and she's nine. So she's fallen in love with the show. And I even before she was born, sometimes I would be by myself and I would just throw on an episode to fall yeah. asleep to. Um, I who's, just loved it. Who's her favorite character? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if she sad. has one because she gets mad at my character a lot. <laughs> I think fair. she's got a crush on David. That's fair. Uh, who didn't? Well, the Harper did the first season. Yeah, I forgot I how much they But it's so that. weird because he's like dating Lucy and you're just obsessed with him. But it's so weird. Like he's like trying to kiss her and you're like, he's mine. It was, it was, <laughs> a, stra- it was a strange arc that just kind of fell off. Yeah. I think when Zeke came up. But anyway. It was very Aww. interesting. Yeah. Um, this is so fun to have you here. This is, uh, I'm so happy. okay. One, we'll end with one more question. How about that? And then we'll, yeah, and then we'll let you go back sure. to your day. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm sad. I don't want I'm going to pick it and you read it. Okay. Okay. If it's a stupid question, a then stupid you can pick one. another one. Oh, I, I, no, this is a good one. Uh, Jennifer approves. <laughs> Stamp of approval. Love it. All right. What would you have told yourself when you were on wizards? Ah, that's a good one. Oh, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to wrap up your extended therapy session with one question. <laughs> <laughs> we, but we won't charge you. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Um, ooh. I don't know. Somebody say something first. Okay, you, I'll answer the question. Yeah, go for it. What would I tell myself? Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it and enjoy a little more because I really yeah. wanted it to be the best. Like I'm trying to be a perfectionist with everything. I think I would have, you know. Mine mine would be savor it. Savor it. Mine mine would be savor it. Pressure Because I was so, yeah, at the time I was so ready to like go to the next thing. And, and I, and yeah, I wish I had just savored it a little bit more. All right, you're up. <laughs> I know. We stumped her. <laughs> it, it did, and I don't know why. I guess maybe okay. because there's so much I probably would have said to myself. Yeah. Because um, I relate to both of your answers. I, I wish that I had maybe known how hard it was going to get, but to know that I'd get on the other side of it. Um, I think that is what I what I think. I don't know why that's so weird for me to answer that. Well, I, I hear I you saying yeah but i hear you saying telling yourself it's going to be okay right you're going to get through it because you're you're getting through it yeah Yeah. definitely i love how i took your words and i made them something sorry you made it so (laughs) it's i i hope you're proud of yourself because i'm incredibly proud of you and and where you find yourself now so you you know that we love you and we're always here for you if you ever need it even if even if you take a break from us and you need a minute from all of this chaos we're always here here for you 
Yeah. I love you guys so much. I love what you are you too. what are y'all doing? Can I do this again? Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, no, of course. so we're, like I said, so this is like our Wizards rewatch podcast. How so, about this? How about this? Yeah. Pick a specific episode, watch that <gasps> episode, and then we'll do a, another show about that specific one. Yeah. Sounds good? And then oh, when, I already when, know that episode. Yeah, when you're back in LA. Okay. 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 So when you're done with the season and well, you're back in LA, we'll have you in the studio. No, no, I have to go back for um for the last week of December. Okay. okay. Done. We'll make it happen. We'll have your people okay, talk to our back. people. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Jennifer just texted me. No, no I'm joking. I'm being I just, silly. Can I tell you how much I fucking <laughs> like? Excuse my French. How much I fucking appreciate that. Honestly, you know people, that's like what drives me me apologizing fucking insane yes yeah. it drives me wild. nuts life is too short and again like what you were saying about like how when we did the show part of what was so special about it is the fact that like everybody was on the same playing field it shows character of that person selena Very smile true. we're gonna take a picture oh my god smile Thank you. here they're not gonna be able to see that i'll zoom in okay oh my it's Lord. my job it's my job um Okay, I okay. This is so fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I already know which episode, but okay. Um, and text Jennifer you, so we can watch it. Well, yeah, I was gonna also say, um, put us in a group message. Yeah, I'll put mind. us in a group chat so that way, like, we're all in contact. Um, okay. thank you okay. for being here yeah. and saying all that wonderful, sweet yeah. stuff. And I, I've always yeah. thought of you as my favorite fake daughter <laughs> and my favorite Aww. fake daughter's friend. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dallas. I, I love you guys it. so much. This was so nice and made my whole day. Oh, good. And thank you for coming on. And love you. Love you too. I love you guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you I soon. I that's um, a that's a Lee question. Wait, hold on. I, I got it. I got it. Oh my God! Stop! I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take this away from you. Isn't she fun? That was so nice that she got to that was very sweet. join us for that. And good questions. Yeah, see, those aren't weren't those great? Yes, that was I, a I like very it. good idea. I'm glad. I'm glad it's like going. Over. You're done with the wand. I'm, I'm You're like, like leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> no, I that like was that you so go. fun, and, yeah. and that show is. I, I enjoyed. I, I've watched the first season. I haven't watched the second season. Yeah. Um, Steve Martin did a movie called Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It was directed because I was about to say like they were all in the same era as your dad, and he he was wild and crazy and yeah. all this stuff, wild you know. Crazy guy, yeah. And we went to the screening because my, my parents were a very good friend with Carl Reiner, who directed it. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad at the end, there was a couple of people. There was one guy wearing a, a hat, and he he walked away and stuff. And I was very quiet. And my dad said to to Carl, "Where's Stephen Martin? I want to meet him." And he goes. Yeah. He was just here in the hat. Yeah. My dad was like, that wasn't him. That wasn't him. There's oh, no my way. God. Because he was very uh, uh, passive and he didn't But I've heard that, that about so many comedians, yeah. about how, like, they turn it on, they flip it on, and everybody. It's kind of like the Marilyn Monroe thing, right? Of, like, oh, watch me be her right. when she walks down the street. Yeah. It's, like, the same thing. Well, we, um, I was very touched yeah. by what she said. She's, what are you doing? You're putting the same questions back in? So yeah. other guests will get the same yeah, question? Yeah, well, no, we'll, we'll shake it up. And okay, yeah. Shake that crystal ball. Shake it. <laughs> she didn't answer the. Oh, we talked about the pickles and everything. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that substation thing is is funny. Okay, so what episode do you think she's gonna pick? Because she's like, she knew it right off the. Off I have the no night. idea. I'm gonna guess the game night episode. Really? Okay. I'm gonna guess that. I'm probably wrong. I have I have no idea what episode she's gonna pick. Yeah. But I'm excited to have her on. Again. I'm so glad that you're making the guess, Jen. <laughs> I don't, but I don't even. I have no clue because there were so many episodes that, like, I know that are special to her. Oh but God. I just, I'm so proud of her and just like how how much she's grown. And I mean, we all. Well, have, she's helping a lot of people. I mean, she is the the, a lot of the idea that people are talking about going to therapy and 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 yeah. talking about she's what, normalizing it, which yes, it should be. Yes, exactly. I've been going to therapy my whole life, and I think it's. Kind of helping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's helping. It's helping. I love that her little sister is now watching the show. Yeah, how special is that? Yeah, that's really cute. And I also love that her little sister gets irritated with her character. Yeah, of <laughs> course. So cute. I mean, but yeah. But anyway, okay. All right, all right till, guys. Till the next episode. So, high five. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my God, you're that is getting confiscated. No, hello, it's Selena. Yeah, okay. We'll talk to you later. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs>
Hey guys, thank you so much for joining Deloise and I. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you just can't get enough of us, and maybe if you can, I don't know. But either way, for extra juicy, awesome bonus content, join our Patreon.